If you decide to use depth first search, uh, the first solution that you will discover is the one to the left, of course. Okay, it's the, really the one that you will find to the left, and eventually this one will be the first first visible solution. Okay, and as you know, the depth first search will always expand uh, the latest node that is added uh, on top of the stack. And so it's important to make this first solution uh, a good one. Okay, you want to have a first solution uh, that has a good objective function, because if you don't have that, the pruning that you will get with depth first search will be very, very bad. Okay, and so how to make this first feasible solution good? The way to do it is uh, to implement what we call a heuristic. Uh, we will not put the left and the right node uh, arbitrarily. We will try to put the most promising node to the left and the less promising node to the right. Okay, and the most promising node to the left for the knapsack problem means probably to select an item with an interesting value because you want to maximize the amount of value that you have added. And so it's always good uh, to select first uh, the good solutions uh, on the left. And so a good idea to do that is to rank all the items according to the ratio value over weight. Okay, and you will rank them. And so the first thing that we do is always branch first on the value with the higher value over weight. And you put that decision to the left. This way, the first feasible solution that we'll find will be hopefully a good one. In the next video, I'll play a little bit with uh, the possible implementation uh, of all uh, these uh, different choices that we have for solving the knapsack problem.